So last night we looked at the future of the Christchurch Cathedral. We asked for your feedback and it was extraordinary. Views on what should happen to the famous building is sharply divided, as everyone in Christchurch knows, of course. But there was consensus on one thing, that some kind of decision needs to be made quickly. And today that call has been echoed by a group calling for the government to intervene and fast-track a decision on the building's future. The Greater Christchurch Buildings Trust warns if the government doesn't step in and force a decision before September, the historic quake-damaged building will remain in a state of decay for years to come. Maya Burry is with the story again. In December 2015, the Anglican Church and the government announced a working group would be set up to break the impasse between the two parties over the cathedral's fate. Its report, due out shortly, is expected to support restoration. But now the Anglican Church has announced the building's future should be decided by the clergy and laity who use it at a synod meeting in September. The Greater Christchurch Buildings Trust co-chair, Philip Burden, does not believe there will be a resolution in four months' time, and he's urging the Crown to step in. This is ridiculous. It's dragged on for six years. The Church clearly has absolutely no ambition, whatever, to resolve this issue. If we do not have government uh, intervention to at least facilitate a resolution and allow restoration to commence and take place, we're going to have this uh, symbol of decay and neglect sitting in the centre of the city for years to come. Mr Burden says the government should be using its legislative powers to impose a decision on the cathedral's future that then must be acted upon by law. But the minister supporting Greater Christchurch Regeneration, Nikki Wagner, says it has no intentions to do that. At this stage we're not considering that. The government wants a good solution for all Christchurch people. It's very divisive and they need to come to that solution together. Mr Burden says the minister is currently sitting on the sidelines. The government really has got to respect the fact that they are government and that they can exercise an initiative. And this simply is um, utterly unsatisfactory for Nikki to uh, really, in effect, wash her hands of it because that is not going to get a solution. Ms Wagner says she understands the September meeting is the bishop's preferred option for a decision on the future of the cathedral but she says she will continue working with the church and others to find a solution as quickly as possible. The Labour Party's Canterbury spokesperson, Megan Woods, says there needs to be more leadership on the issue. What is the government going to do to show the kind of leadership that Christchurch desperately requires around this issue? We know we've got a report that the taxpayers spent half a million dollars bringing together, sitting there, I want to see the contents of that report, but something has to happen. We simply cannot go on indefinitely without having a resolution around the cathedral. The Anglican Church has declined repeated requests to be interviewed or to comment on government intervention. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Maya Burry.